And today we are looking at some rather new little. Um, what what was that? That's a mug screen. You mug. <laughs> a mug. We're looking at some special deliveries okay. from ESP. ESP. Yeah, it's some special Japanese-made instrument stations. So are these new? This one is. Okay. Um, but the the whole premise is basically we've got an evening coming up, an ESP evening at some point, and I can't remember when it is. Um, but we've got an ESP evening coming up um, fairly I'll put it soon. In the description box. Yeah. And I wanted to show you because basically we've got some very very special guitars coming, some USA custom build staff pick options. I got to make one. Adam made one. ESP. Chris made one. Yeah. So we've got some USA. GAC special editions coming in, like you'll only be able to find them in GAC and we're going to be a USA like custom special dealer. Um, but I wanted to make sure that everybody knew that we have a really, really good selection of the highest models that you can buy that aren't like USA options. Yep. Some Japanese made ESP guitars, seeing as they are a Japanese company. So we have four, I think you can only see two on the cameras, yeah. but we'll get the other two up in a minute. Um, so which one is your faves? Uh, I like the Eclipses, which I've got to my left, but visually this is probably my favorite. Okay, we'll um, So this one. is an ES2, uh, ESP M2. Um, E2 um, is now, well they have for a little while now, but it was like uh, the standard range, uh, the Japanese standard range. Um, and they took the ESP logo away and put the E2 logo. Um, and now like all the really big boy like USA custom shop and Japanese custom shop stuff has the ESP logo on there. Okay. Um, so now it's branded as E2. This is an M2 model. Um, probably my favorite shape out of the ESP range. This is the M2. My favorite one is an M1, which is literally just a single humbucker version of this with a Floyd Rose, um, which I spec'd up, which is a USA one that's coming. Nice. If one of you don't buy it, I'm probably gonna end up buying it. Um, this is an awesome model, uh, bell top, bare knuckle nail bombs, um, three-way selector switch. It's got this beautiful satin back finish mm. to the neck, so it's all nice and slippery. Um, ebony fretboard, 24 extra jumbo frets. Uh, and my favorite sort of visual uh, part of it is the reverse headstock with the matching bell as well. I love reverse headstocks. I think they're the most metal sort of. Because? Uh, it's just, an, it's, as I said, it's just a visual thing. It's an aesthetics thing. Um, I just commissioned a new build from a guitar builder called Demon S Guitars. And um, I asked for a reverse headstock, which is actually fairly similar to that sort of vibe, actually, in terms of mm. shape as we well. We were talking earlier, weren't we? And you, <laughs> shall we tell everyone what you said this one looked like? Dildo. <laughs> Sorry, it made me laugh. Yes. Yeah. Um, but that one's rocking. This is rocking. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll, man. This is super rock and roll, Doodington. Um, Doodington. Groovy. Doodington. Doodington. Dude. What fret is that? the 12th fret, is it? ESP. Not <laughs> ASP. Um, what fret's it on? Good the 12th. That is the 12th. Yeah, it's, it's 24 oh, it frets, son. Uh, okay, yeah. It looks like halfway down the bloody neck. Uh, let's hear it. Let's not mess around. Let's or, not dilly dally shilly shally. This what film is that from? Dilly dally shilly shally. It's an animated film, does anybody know? Uh, Tom, I'm looking at you. Uh, dilly dally, it's from Final Fantasy. Um, I definitely would not know that. Because you're rubbish! <laughs> Oh, my God. 
shredding machine today, aren't you? Maximum. I'll never forget that video. Um, I never forget where that Where in that video you say, oh, I'm not a shredder, and then you shred. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, literally. The amount of comments that people go, oh, wow, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, it's one of my favourites. What is that video? It's an old video. It is, it's like you're versing three guitars. Yeah, yeah. Them. But the thing is, I got um, this whole like non-shred thing. I went through it for a couple of months, played some acoustic, played some like some, you know, learned some classic blues tracks, learned some blues licks and such and such. Um, and then I picked up like one of my metal guitars, started playing and realized that I'd gotten better at playing guitar, like <laughs> a little bit better. Will you shush? There's a tiny little blonde yeah, tiny boy <laughs> just looking through the window. I us. love her, a tiny little blonde boy. <laughs> 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 Very specific there, Mark. Um, uh, yeah, no, I, um, I, yeah, I did all of that sort of stuff. Um, then I came back to my electric guitar and I was like, whoa, I've got like a little bit better. And I think that's because I took some time away. Now I'm back in full force shred mode because I'm recording my album as well. And I'm two tracks done and it mm. sounds terrifying. So I'm very excited. People you heard a track, didn't you? I did. I mean, it's extreme. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like some heavy stuff, but that's extreme. Oh, yes. Um, it makes me want to cry a little bit. Yes, I want you to die. I don't know why. Listen to it and everyone just dies. Yeah, that would be the worst album. <laughs> but I've done my job. All the best. Uh, okay. What have we got, Mark? We have, I don't know what it's, what is it? Is it called? Oh, this is once again, this is an E2 Horizon. I was looking at the specs um, so I could pretend to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Because obviously this is your area and this is totally not my kind of thing. Um, but we have mahogany, maple top, ebony fretboard. Mm. Uh, pickups are Seymour Duncan's SH2 and SH16. Yeah, cool. It's Which, like a JB and a Jazz. Uh, no call tapping or splitting. Just three ways. This, um, uh, you, you, I know this guitar from Architex. Uh, Tom used to play one and uh, Josh plays one as well. So very exciting Monday. So they like they like it in that band. Uh, yeah, they used to they 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 play ES or well, Josh plays only ESP guitars in Architex, um, and then Adam plays a mixture of different guitars. So. Yeah. Even with the uh, dildo headstocks? I think so. I think it looks more like a tongue than a dildo. Well, you know, but whatever, that's where your mind your goes. So. Bends you're doing at the moment. Yeah. Very bluesy sort of thing. Nice. Um, yeah, this is basically, I mean, with the mahogany body, the maple top, and is it a mahogany neck? Uh, this is through, I think. Yeah, so like with the mahogany neck, mahogany body, maple top, tunematic style bridge. This is very LP specs, Les yeah. Paul specs, but in a, or in a, like a super strat style guitar. Yeah. It's kind of cool. The Seymour Duncans are way less output obviously compared to the the bare knuckles mm. so you can hear that straight away <laughs> Great. Yeah, cool. Let's bring up the two that... Going through a black star, We the haven't way, guys. seen. Going through a HD Stage 100 Mark II. So it's the new one. It's the new mm. Mark II. Another um, black star. Should, I, should, we, uh, should yeah. we just put those two, these two on there and change yeah. them over? What's that? Uh, this... <laughs> What's that? What's that? Uh, this is an E2 Eclipse. No, senor. Nothing splits or taps. Nope. So one uh, master volume uh, or is... Let's find out. <laughs> Big old bum. Two volumes, one tone. Yeah. Per pickup. EMG 5766s, my favorite EMG set. Okay. Uh, really, really good. Um, they're active. 
little push. Oh, hello. Little little unit there. Okay. Um, can you so show that? So I can show that to you if you wish for me to do so. So if you just see there, so you just push that in. Alakazam battery compartment is right there. Um, 5766 is their active pickups. So um, they're a little bit more, oh, do you know? Um, it's got very... It's got a very like traditional look to it. Isn't well, it, it is, yeah. It's 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 an LP sort of thing. Yeah. So you've got a single cut guitar. Um, you've got twenty four frets on it though. Um, locking tuners. It's a it, mahogany it, body it maple top. It looks big. Does it? Or is it just on me? I think it looks big. Might just be me, right? Like compared to, if you if you if you were to take a Les Paul, like it would be right. much bigger. Okay. I think. Should I play it? Nah. <laughs> It gives you that sort of, um, uh, with the MGs though, for me, did you know, I always like to say this because it's a, it's like a, it's like a, a final, like, yes, it's one of those moments for me. Did you know that I endorse the MG pickups? No. Outside of just in my normal everyday life, one I, of my endorsement contracts is with EMG. I did and not that's know. all because of uh, Zach Wild. Zach Wild didn't give me the contract, I'm just saying. But because I'm such a, yeah, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, EMG for me are just like, I don't have to have anything other than just the bridge pickup yeah. because they're so smooth. <laughs> I can go to the neck, but for me it takes away some of the attack. Yeah, so with the bridge being that smooth, and it's the same thing for like the fast shreddy stuff. Yeah. I can stay on the bridge and still feel confident with it. There's just something about EMGs for some reason that makes me play better as a guitar player. So I really, really love EMG pickups. And which, what were these ones? 5766s, which, which are my favorite set. Cool. Yeah. So I usually just have the neck pick, uh, the bridge, but like on my guitar, my SMP guitar, I put a new set of passive EMGs in there, which are the Marty Friedman signature sets. And I disengage the neck. So the neck is just there, just so it doesn't look weird with the neck out. So mm. it's just the bridge that's activated, activated, Activate, uh, which is just the bridge, which is like, which is using. I can't talk. <laughs> it's just a bridge, which Look at is this using piece of machinery. It is just the bridge that is using. using now I like the look. I mean, you couldn't have two different looking guitars, really. Same, same everything in terms of specs. Um, although the EMGs are not fifty-seven sixty-sixes. I think they're um, the classics eighty-one. Slightly different sound to them. Instead of 24. <laughs> you ran out. I ran out of fretting. Um, I actually prefer the sound of that. Ah! Ah! Hey. Yeah. 
as soon as I get like an LP shaped guitar, I need to throw out Zach Wild lyrics. <laughs> Yeah, I think I prefer that to this one. There's not as much gain though. Like I thought that I've got the gain dimed on uh, on this amplifier, and it's still like still working hard for the like. <laughs> Would be nice if there was a little boost for leads. It's a little bit flobby yeah, on the bottom yeah, end. Yeah, 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 Into it. So, uh, Japanese ESPs, they are here in stock, ready to go, ready to mingle, ready to single. And out. what was it? We've got an event coming up. Let's just mention that again. Yeah, so the ESP, we've got an ESP event coming up. Um, it's to um, not only to display what we're going to have, we've got about five or six USA custom ordered guitars that will be here yeah. um, for GAC to sell in the shop that the staff ordered. Um, there's a model, an M2 that I, um, that I spec'd up and ordered. Yeah. Uh, there's one that Adam Bell spec'd up and ordered, one that Chris spec'd up and ordered, and then Roy spec'd up and ordered. And then we've done the last one as a, uh, as a collective of metal heads and we so were spec'd one together. Are the yeah. Creme de la croc. Yeah, so we got all of the metal guys in store basically and just um, selected out some guitars that we would have. Um, so there you go, ESP Japan. Like, what unbelievably cool guitars. I mean, seriously good guitars. So they're coming in with like two grand, just over. Yeah, so you're talking like, um, so this black satin is 1931, 1,931 pounds. Um, and it, they and all come with hard cases, obviously. Um, obviously. And then the ESP E2 Eclipse FM Lemon Burst. It's actually a B stock model. I don't know why, because it's clean as hell. That's coming at 1,459. And that, the dark one. brown sunburst, yeah. um, was 2348 and is now 1879. And then this so, big bad boy over here is about two and a half grand. So a couple of bit knocked off there. Sweet, cool, oh. rock and rolling. You like saying that today, don't you? Rock I and do. rolling. Uh, I've been Mark. Uh, my name is uh, Javier Bardem. <laughs>